It was all started at my first day of school. I was busy drawing my favorite cartoons on the back page of my notebook when I suddenly heard a voice in my direction. My teacher. He asked me to raise up and to introduce myself. I saw all of my classmates staring at me on the corner of my eyes and I looked frozen. My hands were shaking, my knees were trembling, and my heart started to beat faster and faster. I have done nothing but to remain silent. And all of a sudden, tears ran down on my cheeks. And that was the time that I became afraid of speaking in public. As I grew older, I remained the same. I remain the boy who doesn't want to interact with other people, with other students, and with other children. I remain the boy who wanted to be alone all the time. Until one day, a teacher approached me asking, Why am I always alone? Sir, because I'm afraid to be judged by anyone else. I replied. What he said is, you need to change and you can be afraid of change. But that leads me to a realization that if we may be secure in the band that we are in, but if we never get out of it, we will never realize that there is an ocean, a sea around. So I did change. I decided to take that step, to do something about it, and to find a solution. I started asking some people around who's more confident than I. I practice speaking with a mirror in front of me. I do browsing on the internet about how to get better in public speaking, about how to overcome the fear I am dealing with that time. All throughout, I realized that it wasn't hard as what I thought. It is true that if there's a will, there's a way for everything. There I continue practicing, keep on learning and learning until I reach where I am right now. Because of public speaking, I can able to travel the world. I have become an inspiration to others and I'm now one step ahead to change the world. That someday, no one have to experience the same thing as what I've been through just because of the kind of fear. Be a leader, a voice who will say, you can. A little boy before who doesn't want to open his mouth is now a man who loves to hold the mic to say something to change the world. You are, you are.